So one of the really neat things about... Oh, turn him around real quick. Yeah, you can see his little backpack. And you can see the, 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 arms. the, the yeah. arms just like clutching it super close to him, yeah. So he uses his arms and his, his weird little legs in all of his normal attack. I, I'm sorry, but his they are. His legs seem to be normal size. <laughs> no, no, but the, like, the way his knees are and his little feet. Right. Like you can see here, he's literally throwing different stuff from his backpack. And I love how like fluid all the arms are. Yes, right? like, it's, it's so, so cool. cool how they work together. He has a lot of two-player animations, which are like grapple moves. Which Tyler loves. I yeah. Mean. So he's almost like a hybrid grappler in a weird way. I like two-player animations because the other player can't do anything about it. I love this one because of the, the weird way he gets down on his knees well, like that. Down. Yeah. He definitely has a very interesting fight style. Yeah. we haven't really used it. It's not like a traditional martial art at all. It's just kind of, I'm going to throw everything I got at you. Yeah. Right? It's like, this is a sweep. His hop attack. So you can see it's this mix of weapons and magic. magic yep. We're on the same page today. He is a very unusual character, which I think is neat. Cool. So, um, what should we start with? Um, Base let's. Titles? Let's start with base specials. So the first one is, you can see the little mace he has attached to a chain. Mm -hmm. He has this really long range kind of projectile move. He can actually charge this up. Uh, I, I'd hate to interrupt you for a second. Could you go back for a second? Even though this seems to be a Tarkat and war camp, there's a beautiful rainbow back there. Yeah. That, that beautiful rainbow. Beauty can happen anywhere. 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 Yeah. Okay, continue. <laughs> so he can actually cancel out of it, which is another thing he can do. He has a couple moves that he can cancel. And if he fully charges it, you get a big old crushing blow. And it's going to take about a second to fully charge that, too. So you're vulnerable the entire time. Right. You're vulnerable the entire time, which is why the cancel's pretty decent. And it's fun for me to hear that crushing blow situation, because as we play more and more, I'm, we're all sharking for crushing blows uh -huh. more, and like that's cool to know, yeah. All right. So another move he has is this move, which is actually a projectile absorb. Oh. I fixed Jax, which probably wasn't wise, because he doesn't have a normal ah. projectile, so i got to wait... <laughs> You got this, Steve. I no. totally am this. This is so bad because of the heating up his arms. All right, here we go. Wait. There. there you go. So he absorbs a projectile. And the neat thing here is if he amplifies it, I missed. It. Okay, this is it for serious. If he amplifies it, Ooh, you got he it. gets this orb that he can follow behind. What's up? And he can use that to force them to back or to block. And he can use He's that in setups. Yeah. Exactly, right. So you're trying to zone him, and then he actually flips it back, stops your zoning, and then zones you. Man. Another move he has is he even collects charge. your projectiles. Mm -hmm. I did not think of that, but that is super clever. This is like his combo ender. It's you're going to end a lot of your juggles with it. You can amplify it to do additional damage. And finally, he has this bola attack, which he tosses this. If you amplify it, he's going to get a capture state, so he gets a combo. And he can also hold this like his mace, and he can actually cancel it if he wants. He can cancel forward. Or just out of it. It's pretty good. Uh, it's a little bit on the slow side, mm -hmm. but obviously that's one of his main combo starters. So that's kind of his base moves. It's a lot of, uh, I actually say farther than mid range, and a lot of stuff that's not your typical move. You know, again, cancels, absorbing moves. He's Pretty neat like that. So let's go over some of the loadouts I made. Let's see what you got. The first thing I gave him is up mace, which acts similar to the straight mace, but it goes up, which is why I called it up mace. Great. The same, <laughs> the same rules apply. He can charge it, cancel it, and you can see visually it looks really similar. So then you don't know if he's going to do the up or the straight. It's a little minor. Exactly, which adds to the, since you can cancel both. So now they don't know. Does the up have a crushing blow? It does not. Mm. Another move I added is a command grab. I love that. Can you amplify that, Steve? You cannot. But it does have a crushing blow, and that is... What are the requirements, Steve? Give it to for us. For punishing a roll. So a wake-up roll is invincible, right. except against throws. Wow. So, if you read throw, or sorry, wake-up roll, you get a crushing blow into a pop-up. Nice. It, you know, it's funny, when I first read some of the, the things where it's like you had to punish wake-up roll, I was like, well, that's not going to happen very often. The more we play and the more we roll, yep. I'm like, nope, that's going to happen a lot because yeah. it's such a great corner maneuver. Yep. The other thing I gave him is, uh, oh, a teleport. Cool. This is super fast, has really good recovery, and this is a great addition for his mobility, obviously. So 
you know, if you were playing a matchup where you're getting zoned out and the absorb is just too slow to get out, or he's getting overwhelmed, you know, you can use the teleport to get in. That's you true. can also use it for like setups. And he has different variations of the teleport, right? right? So you can get behind him, in front of them, stay in place, I think. Exactly. Right. And it's super, super fast. It's like the old school Raiden teleport. Let's go into his fatal blow before. Uh, we should have throws yet. I think so. Let's just do it just in case. Did that? Okay. Did you back throw as well? We did. But still, Wait. throws are cool. Throws are cool. Two player. Tyler's in. Uh, my vote for our most brutal. Uh, it is really oh, messed up. I just love the blood up. I love Jax's face during that last yep. part. And how he's smiling as he's yeah. sitting. Yeah, that's good. It's good. But Jax is okay. Yeah, he's yeah fine. Jax is fine. He's fine. All right, so let's go over one more loadout. All right. And I made this a... Real quick, though. Just look, look at the, the gilded stuff he has collected over yes. time. He has some really cool gear. Really, re The maces are the coolest. He's got, like... One is literally like a brain. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, yeah. yeah. I think one's like a... Small skeleton or something like yeah, that. Uh, that's that's the one that I like. Yeah, he yeah, has yeah. one that's covered. It's full of eyeballs. You yeah. can the art team because he's anything, anything from Outworld. You can see they were like, what about a brain on a chain? And yeah. they're like, oh, absolutely, that makes sense. But that yeah. brain needs to have spikes, of yeah. course. So the first thing I gave him is a projectile. He can do it in the air or the ground, and it'll do dot damage and actually keep these flames on the ground. It seems like uh, I mean, you can almost build like. A pool of yeah. magic, right? And the recovery is pretty good, and you can do close, medium, or far. You're just covering the he's, fight. Jax, I love he's just, you know, still getting pumped, even though he's on he fire. That's MK. Oh, let's look at the backpack. Oh, well, maybe we can't. Let's see. Mm. Moving on. All right. I'm you can see it. it's got a skull on it. It's pretty metal. Yeah, there's a lot of cool backpacks, too. So then I gave him a chakram. This replaces his bola, and it is significantly faster. The trade-off is he cannot charge it anymore or cancel out of it. Sure. But this is awesome because the meter burn puts him in a capture state. And this has to be one of the fastest projectiles that does a capture state oh, yeah. that's ever been in an I mean, they're, Like uh, They're there for a while. They're caught for, for just about a minute. You can dash up and get into that. Yeah, like a really common scenario is he'll do it from literally full screen. And mm -hmm. if a projectile trades, he still has time to go in and get a combo. Right. It's awesome. So you're not going to have like the meta game of canceling it and charging it. But it's just straight up, you can't go wrong. If you're willing to commit to the Amplified, it's an awesome combo starter. And it actually has a crushing blow, and its requirement is tied to another move. So, if they are on fire, mm -hmm. and he does the Chakram, you get that crushing blow, which gets oh. a pop-up. So That's his projectile, awesome. without amplifying it, if it's a crushing blow, gets a big pop-up into a combo. That's great. Cool. Is that basically it for this? That is basically the Collector. He Ooh. is a... And Granted, there is more to the collector, yes. but we have so much we got to go through here today that we want to just kind of
Fatality. Collector wins.